Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Grapple, and I love this toy. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me and it'll help the channel grow. Also, if you'd like to further help out the channel, make sure you hit that notification icon so you're notified when I upload a new video, and come back and check out the channel often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. Now, getting into Grapple. He's brand new, released in February of 2020. He's starting to hit store shelves right now as of the time of this recording. He is a Voyager figure and is retailing for approximately $30. And we can see here, Grapple is displayed in the window box in the front there in his robot mode. So you can see what the robot looks like. Around the side, we've got, again, that Earthrise, Earthrise artwork that is really, really cool. And then on the other side, we've got some really awesome artwork of Grapple right there on the side. And then on the back, we've got some product shots of Grapple, both in vehicle and robot mode, as well as one of the features with the uh, hookup piece that he can do. Uh, feature that where all the figures can actually kind of link up and hook up together. So there is Grapple in the package. Let's get him out of the package and check him out. And here we have Grapple out of the box, and he comes packed with everything that you see here. So he's got his instruction sheet, and he's also got his decoder, so that we can take the insert out of the box and look for his planet. And this time around, Grapple did not get a planet. There's nothing here. So, again, I don't know what the game is, but uh, there's nothing to see here. Grapple gets Planet Druidia, um, because I'm giving him that one, because <laughs> there's nothing there. All right, decoder there, and uh, here we go. He got we got the vehicle uh, figure itself, and we got a couple of weapons here. So we got this little handgun, and we've got this uh, little claw here that we can use as well. And we're going to be taking a look at what we can do with a couple of these in just a moment. Here we have Grapple in his vehicle mode and his crane mode, and this vehicle mode is approximately six inches long and about two and a half inches tall at the top of the arm here. A very cool looking vehicle. Again, it's G1 as it's going to get, and I absolutely love it. It rolls just nice. This one throws me off because uh, it rolls really, really nice, but it doesn't look like it's rolling because the front wheels, uh, just the outside of the wheel moves. Let's get that in focus. The outside of the wheel moves, but the inside of the uh, wheel there, it does not. So the tire moves, but the wheel does not. Uh, so whenever I see this guy on the table rolling around, I, I, it kind of messes me up. I think it's not rolling, but it really is. Going all the way around, looking at all the detail. Very, very nice. Mostly molded in orange. We got some black details and a couple of silver details. That's going to be about it. But again, these figures... The, the reason these figures are as good as they are, in my opinion, is because they are simple. The, the genius is in their simplicity. Their transformations are simple. Their designs are simple, but effective. They give us a very realistic G1 figure and, again, a very realistic G1 vehicle. So it really, really works going around the bottom. Not a whole lot of robot to look there. So, again, if you didn't know any better, you would not know you're looking at a robot in disguise here. Very, very cool. The arm does go up and down. And it can rotate all the way around. Uh, this can also extend and retract. Uh, that's going to be more for transformation purposes. It does clip into place. And you do have the little slider here so that in vehicle mode, it's off to the side, as you can see, so that when the hook is down, it's not impeding the driver's uh, point of view. But then you can also take this and just kind of move it one click over so that it is centered uh, and we can do some other things with it as well. So there we go. Now we do have a couple of things that we can do here. Again, we have that port there. So if you have some of those fire uh, or just blast effects from some of the weaponizers, you can put those there if you wish. Uh, we can put our weapon there if you wanted to. You can do that. It doesn't hold that well, but hey, it's, uh, you know, this is what uh, we did as kids uh, using our imagination. So that's a thing that you can do. Now, um, what you can really do with this is use the claw. So you can take the hook and bring it all the way down and then the claw is going to hook in right in there. So there you go. You can use this as the claw to pick up things and stuff, I guess. Um, it does have the claw here. It has that slot right in there. And that's going to work with some of these panels that we've seen. Let me reach in here. Let me get Prime's panel, actually. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So Hoist has one of these. Prime has one of these. Uh, some of the other figures that are coming around have these. So there you go. So you can use these and this can actually clip in here. 
and then you can use this for grabbing something or I, I don't know. Uh, you can use it for something, but there you go. It, it does work that way. You can like you can take hoist and you can clip them on here so they can just kind of do tug of war with each other, that kind of stuff. So it's all interactive. So that's one way of storing the hook. This is my preferred way uh, of storing ra the claw rather, not the hook, but the claw. I prefer to store it this way. Just kind of pop that off to the side again. Uh, that's my preferred way, but you can bring this out if you wish. And you, we've got uh, little ports all over the figure here. So the instructions kind of show you uh, putting that there. I don't really care for that. It just sticks out too far, but you can do that if you wish. You can put it down here on the side, you know, whatever you want with it. Uh, same thing with the weapon. You can take the weapon and you can store it, you know, on the side of the vehicle like so. Come on. So you can store the weapon there on the side of the vehicle or you can turn it sideways if you wanted to make like a like an attack mode or put it over here if you want to do an attack mode again you know up to you uh but you know just going by the instructions i'll show you it shows you the weapon there and it shows you the claw here uh so you know i don't think the weapon looks too terrible there honestly i prefer i just keep it in prime's trailer when he's not in robot mode uh but the claw thing there um <laughs> i just like this to go here instead i think it just looks more cohesive that way more realistic and there you go so there's that very 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 cool figure absolutely love this one i didn't think i was going to like this one as much as i do but i really like this figure a lot now i don't have a g1 grapple for comparison but i do have a g1 inferno which was the same mold so you guys can see how these guys look together i can't wait to get an inferno out of this too yes i am gonna buy this figure again when they give me an inferno repaint yes i am <laughs> so there you go you can see what these guys look like together fantastic figure i love this getting into transformation is very very simple we're going to start right here with the claw we're going to remove it and just set it off to the side all right so uh i like to take the hook here bring it all the way in we're going to push this in and it's going to bring come in and clip into place just like that and of course we're going to bring this back to the center so it snaps into place there and uh, we're ready to get started okay so we're going to bring the arm all the way up and over and it's going to clip into place when it gets all the way to the back just like that the arms are uh, pegged in right here it's not super tight as you can see uh, but you can see the two pegs there two ports right underneath there so we can bring these out and over come up here to the top we're definitely going to bring the camera up aren't we? come up here to the top split the arms bring them all the way around bring them down and then straighten them out oh, the other way and then you can turn these pieces here to reveal the fists like that so there we have his upper body pretty much all done and you can see most of his lower body as well so now we're going to come down here and very carefully we're going to pull these these this is pegged in here and here be very careful i've heard of people breaking these uh this was super super tight when i first got it uh you can see it's not that tight now i'm still careful with it just because uh, i'm just being cautious uh, it has loosened up over time. It has gotten a little looser, uh, but these were very, very tight when I first got them out of the package, and I have heard people that are snapping these off. So be very, very careful. They will eventually loosen up a bit, okay? All right, so that comes up. Now that we have this up, we can take this piece and bring it all the way down like so, and then this little box piece here is going to turn around, reveal the head. We're going to accordion these panels in. So that one's going to go up. This one's going to go down. This one's going to come up and these this box is going to clip here and here on both sides just like that that's going to get our head in place come down here to the feet and just bring these forward and then back like that so again forward and then rock it back and there we go there is grapple in his robot mode for the most part there's a detail missing i know and we'll get to that in just a second i did want to show him uh show the fact that he does have two fists so now let's get that last uh, little detail taken care of. So Grapple usually or historically doesn't have two fists. He has one fist and one um, kind of like a like a peg arm or a pointer arm. Uh, you'll see in just a second. So you can do this with either arm. Both arms work this way, and I think that's in by the sign because the uh, the little hose piece is going to flip over on Grapple versus Inferno. So it's very cool that both of these hands can do this. We're going to take the fist, this one, uh, his left. We're going to turn it all the way back around. We're going to come back here. And if you remember the little silver detail that we had back here, this is pegged 
or tabbed rather there and there. I'm going to bring this around and we're going to tab it into his, what would be his left hand. Now we have a proper looking G1 grapple. He looks really, really cool. And here in robot mode, grapple is approximately six and a half inches tall. So a very, very good size of Voyager size figure looks really really good going all the way around not a whole lot of cable he does have the crane sitting back there but that's kind of supposed to be there so there you go you can go all the way around looks fantastic beautiful beautiful figure coming in close let's take some look at those details looking at that head so we've got let me see if i can focus in there this is kind of weird so the eyes the inside of the eyes are painted silver uh for some reason uh so, so that kind of gives <laughs> like weird crazy red halo around his eyes that's it's, it's kind of i don't know it kind of looks a little possessed or something and uh but i love it. it it looks absolutely neat and very good detail on the face focus that back up and just kind of taking a look at the entire robot this is a gorgeous gorgeous beautiful figure again i didn't think i was gonna like this figure as much as i do but i absolutely love it articulation head can move Side to side, no up and down on this because he's kind of, you know, in a box. So what are you going to do? Shoulders can go all the way around. They can go in and out. You got a rotation at the bicep. You got to bend at the elbow. No rotation at the wrist this time around because of the way the wrist works, which is unfortunate. Uh, we do have a waist rotation. Uh, legs can go forward, backwards. They can go in and out. They can rotate at the thigh. They can bend at the knee. You do have a little bit of up and down on the feet because of transformation. And of course, we've got that ankle tilt so you can do those wide stances and careful don't fall whoa okay so <laughs> there's that and there's some more playability features that we can do here so we've got his gun of course we can give him his gun he can hold his gun he can look cool holding his gun there you go or we can store his gun and we can do that by storing it on any of the multiple ports that we have on the figure on the sides here uh let's just go right there with it there you go. You can put that there, and it looks perfectly fine. It doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not very obtrusive. You can also, I guess, mount it here on the sides here. So if you have two of these guns, you can kind of give them that uh, Gajinrai leg armor look. <laughs> I guess that's a thing we can do. Anyway, yeah, I was going to turn it up and see if that worked. That doesn't really work. I think it looks better up here, like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So there's that. There's a, there's a thing that you can do with them. And then, of course, we've also got this claw. So, again, we can do the same thing that we did with the little hose piece here. We can turn his arm around. You can do it with both hands. You can do it with one hand. You can do whatever you want here. And just kind of give him that claw feature there. So he's got that. He can grab onto things like uh, one of these things. If you wanted to grab onto one of those things, you can do that, I guess. So there's that. Uh, not a whole lot of place to store this in robot mode. I mean, yes, there are ports back here. So we can, you know, you can put it on his leg again, or you can put it up here. I don't like how this looks anywhere. Uh, <laughs> you can do that. Uh, you can put it back here. So he's got kind of the scorpion tail kind of thing going. And I think that is the least obtrusive way to store that in robot mode uh, so that it doesn't look terrible. So let me bring his fist back out again. So there you go. See, you can you can kind of put them on a shelf looking like this. And, you know, his uh, other weapons and accessories are not very obtrusive. Now, this can come up again. You can bring this up and then pick it over to the side. And now you've got yourself an attack feature here. So you can actually do that. And let's see if I, I had done this like really cool pose with him where he's kind of like helping rescue somebody or something like that. There you go. If you can imagine, like, he's using this to rescue somebody or pull somebody off out, out of a, a canyon or something like that, <laughs> or a ravine. You can do something like that, see? Uh, or you can just use this as a weapon. You can, again, point that forward, put one of those blast effects on there, and you've got yourself a, a, a sort of a shoulder-mounted cannon for him. It's a thing that you can do with him as well. So, again, a lot of playability with this figure. I find this figure so much fun and just absolutely beautiful. Snap that back in place. Beautiful figure. I really just love everything about it. So, let me get him straightened out. And we'll do a couple of comparisons real quick. Let's look this way. Ah, let's give him his weapon. Why not? There we go. Okay. Stand straight, sir. 
All right, so again, I don't have a G1 grapple, but we're going to compare them with G1 Inferno because they are the same mold. And you can see what these guys look like together. And again, I cannot wait to get a, a version of this done in, <laughs> in Inferno. You know I'm going to get them both. Oh, that looks so good. I love that. Yep, fantastic figure. They look, they look great together. And again, why not? Let's take a look at him with Earthrise Optimus Prime so you can see what these guys look like together. Both of these are Voyager figures. Uh, Prime is just a little taller than Grapple. Again, Grapple was about six and a half inches tall, where Prime was about seven. So uh, it's a good size difference for the two of them. And Prime's standing a little far behind, so he's actually looking a little smaller. There you go. That's side by side there, so you can kind of get a good uh, view of them. So, yeah, very, very cool figure. Absolutely loving this Earthrise line. These Autobots have all knocked it out of the park as far as I'm concerned so far. And I think that about covers the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Grapple. Let me know what you think of this figure. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.